It's big, it's thick, it's chunky. Yeah. G'day folks, this is the Coffee Bush Kid in Central Vic. I have myself a new permission, and it's great. It's near uh, my friend's property, uh, who I also have permission of. And this is my first target, my first find. A very, oops, and he drops it. A very, very cute little thimble. That bodes well. We'll see what else we can find. You should have a listen to this as a second target. That's nice. But it's only only there. So with any luck, that's a token. It'd be nice if it was. Might be a can though. <laughs> <clears throat> yes. Looks like aluminium, probably. It's got some sort of pattern on it. Might be the top of a thermos or something. Or a little pail, maybe. I don't know. It's got that bit there on it as well. Anyway, gave a bloody good signal. Let's see what else gives a good signal. Right, I've had a really nice 21, 22 signal. And it's out of the hole. seen oh, I've seen a hint of green there we go you have two now I know what the hell that is let's find out something brassy oh no I know what it is oh actually this is going to be interesting that I think that's a a um, heel plate and I actually think that that's still attached to a bit of leather by the looks of that you can see brass tacks there though why it's so far in it's got me stuff but anyway there's a heel hmm. funny way of doing it anyway we found it. Very interesting. Old leather. And brass heel, toe, tap, cap, whatever you want to call them. Brass. Let's keep going. Now they pop up when you least expect them. And I've not had many through my life, but I've had a couple. Yeah, 17, 18 signal. For dramatic effect, I know what's there and I have covered it up. And I bet you can guess where it is. But have a look at this. Everyone should know what that is. That is a cricket belt buckle. And I reckon we'll clean that up gently and we'll come back to you. Alrighty, we are back. Look at that. You've got the wickets, a couple of balls, two bats crossed. That's a beautiful little one. Now, it is only pressed, and I must say it is lightly pressed. But that's a corker of a find. That's just bloody brilliant. You never ever seem to find any the same. Um, yeah, I've never found one like that. I don't think Petey Ua has one like that in his collection. And he has a few. Anyway, 
We'll keep going. This is good. Alrighty, we have a signal. I have dug it. But there's lots of stuff around. You know, it's all, all just buddy going everywhere, but just locked onto that one. And when you look down in the hole, yeah, we can see that. And that is a little half penny. It's Commonwealth one. And potentially if I rub it nicely and look through the finder. 1924. There we go. George V, 1924, one half penny. A little bit green, a little bit crusty, but that's not bad. First coin for here, so that's all good. The place holds great potential. And we'll be back and forth here over time. You know, we'll see if we get anything before we head back to the ute. Right yo, where that dirt is there, where we got the half penny. And here, you know, we've, we've got all these bloody pippy ploppy signals. Just got one nice. I dug down, and that's what greeted me. How cool. Alrighty. Oh, nice. Nice imprint. I might just have to give it a little clean up. See what we can come up with. Alright. Yeah. Might be alright. There we go. What's that say? 122, 28. I don't know. Something like that. It's in the 20s. Yeah. That's cool. And amongst a whole lot of plip plop. And we got a penny. Without a shadow of a lie, I have not touched this apart from just dug it out. There we are. There's where it was. There's where, oh, there's where that other penny was. And I've got another one. Huh. How cool is that? That's a little bit more crusty. I'll give it a quick clean. We'll see what we've got. I'm back and I can't tell what that is. I'll have to have a look at it a bit better. Might be a Britannia penny. I don't know. We'll have a look at it a bit better when we get home. See what else we can get. Well, I'm back out on this new per permission and I'm just cherry picking. That's all I'm doing, going over it, seeing where there's a great uh, lot, of, lot of finds, where there's stuff in the ground. There's stuff in the ground everywhere. But I'm in a different part to yesterday afternoon and I got this. Okay, that's all good. I would have thought penny. Nah, no, nah, it's not. Because down in here, see that? That to me is starting to look very buckle like. And what I better do is actually take some of that off it so it doesn't break. Here we go. Are we all ready? What's it going to be? That looks like a wreath. No, it's just a wreath. I shouldn't say just a wreath. It's a wreath buckle. That's pretty cool. We'll give it a little clean up. We'll see what it looks like. Right, the dirt wants to stick to it, but as far as wreath buckles go, you, you can have cast ones, you can have good thickish ones, or you can have thinny ones. They're your three classifications, and they're, they're a, a noted classification. This is your, uh, your pressed thicky one. It's not bad 
you know, it, it's got a decent thickness to it, but it's not one of the thinny ones. So, but that's that's a nice little find. Uh, yeah, I am in the gold area, and it's good that we found stuff from that time. Let's see what else we can find. Yeah, the, that hole there. Look at that. I apologise for any wind. That is one of the keeper latches that we often find in the gold fields off a corset. And this piece of steel that runs across here was a great long strip that had, I don't know, half a dozen, eight of these things that used to hook up along the front of a corset. Don't ask me how I know these things. I saw a doco. Anyway, they're always cool to find, and we found one. I'm trying to keep you out of the wind. This is something I have never, ever had before. I believe it is a light. You see the white stuff down in there? That's like a, a lead. It's a really heavy base. And you, there's beautiful little bloody perforations there, I reckon, for air intake. I reckon it could be a bloody pressure lamp or, or something of the ilk. But it certainly gave a good signal. It's been a bit crushed. Very unusual, though. Can't. I've given it a little bit of a clean up. Uh, can't see any maker's mark on it or anything like that. Unusual find, though. Lots of unusual finds. Let's see what else we can find. Find, find, find. Hmm. Always check your holes. Yeah, I'm gonna say that that's the same thing. And on this side, we can read, if we get in the light properly, made in US of America. 20th Century Manufacturing Co. How cool is that? Patent and design applied for. That is a very cool find. We'll have to find out exactly what it is. I know a beautiful editor of mine who's quite a dab hand on Google. She'll be able to find out what it is. Anyway, another cool find. Yeah, nice 22. You do occasionally find them, especially uh, occasionally in this shape. A love heart. How cool is that? That will have been off probably a bit of horse harness. See the lugs there that would have been bent over? But yeah. Nice little piece of brass in the shape of a heart. Pretty cool. Okay. Look at this one. I have been told there was a token found around here. So, but there is also been some fires along here. And I've got some aluminium as well. in around that area. Let's find out. What have we got? That's not a token. No. That's a piece of can. Bother. No, oh, we'll, we'll keep going. Well, I'm here by the dam. Uh, there's a bit of a you know, nice bit of blue glass just there. But I got me a signal. And I haven't found one of these for ages. I love these. That. I love these because Petey and I used to find them and we never knew what what they were. But um, now. Now I do.
I think I've told a few people before. That's off a candlestick. That's where you'd put your finger through and your thumb on there and you'd hold the candle like that and you see how the, the uh, steel of the candle bowl, we'll call it, is broken away. But that casting is still whole. Usually they snap through there and you're sort of just left with that bit. Oh, I love it when you find them like this. They are a great little find. <laughs> we'll see what else we can find. You're not going to believe this. 18 down there, nice side. Buckle central. Now, I reckon that looks like a clock. But we'll clean it up and we'll have a look. And we are back and will you look at that. I have never, ever seen a belt buckle like this. Oh, and we're about to drop it. Oh, stay there. Very thin, like the cricket belt buckle I got last night. But yeah, and it's still got the hands there though. They look like they're broken. But it nearly looks like it's seven or eight o'clock. I don't know, time for bed, time for brekkie. But that's just glorious. But you can see how thin it is, and there's its little tab for, for clipping onto something else over the other side there. You have to be really careful with this one. But that's an absolute doozy. How brilliant's that? Huh. I'm still trying to make my way back to the ute. And as I said, I'm only cherry picking this at the moment. But I seem to be on a good little spot here. So, uh, yeah. Lots of adventures here to be had. Let's see what else we can snavel, hey? This little spot is brilliant. Over there is where I just got that clock buckle. Look at this. If this doesn't make your heart jump. And I've only just, just seen it. I put my spade down in there. You ready? And we do that. And what's coming out of the ground at us? Is that a token? Maybe we'll just take it. Oh, it's big. It's thick. It's chunky. It's dirty. But, um, yeah. Let's clean that up and see what it is. That looks unusual. Anyway, we'll be back in a tick. And yes, it was a token. It's our old friend. It's an 1861. Our old friend Robert Hyde and Co. General Marine Store. So that's pretty cool. We found one. I was told that there was one found up here. Well, now there's two. And I still haven't moved very far. This place is just packed with signals. Good signals. Let's see what else we can snap all. In the leaf litter, if you don't mind. There's where we got the token from. In the leaf litter. Stuffed, I know what it is. It's made of lead. It's as heavy as, it's got some stuff there. Nice pattern on there. Might have had something in there. I don't know, razor blade? Someone's used it as a hammer. Because you, you could, but I don't know what it is. Unbelievable. This is a great little spot. Let's keep going. Down there, so what are we looking? Four, five inches? I, I've already cleaned it up, got that, which is part of a buckle. Now you see the, the anchors? I'm going to say it's English because right in the middle is a crown. And it's a fairly good uh, buckle too, very thick. That's an absolute corker. So keep in mind, always good to fill in some of your day detecting. Remember to fill in all your holes when you're finished. We'll catch you next time.